Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the world's most exciting woman, the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Mrs. Bay. Well, I think you are. You're peeling off my box. Anyway, we've got some things to show you this week in the world of 6 scale and 12 scale and this and that scale and the other scale vinyl, so on and so forth. Uh, before we get into that, wanted to put it out there. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. got my uh, Mezco box, which has the Mezco Conan. And so I will be doing an unboxing of that shortly. Maybe it'll go up tomorrow. Also, wanted to give a shout out to Warren from Nerdtastic Plastic. Hey, hey Warren, Warren. Because he will be at the Chicago Toy Show. And of course, he will be in the, and you see his little Nerdtastic Plastic logo there. That's where you can find him in the Trades North and South building. And a little bit more specifically, there he is on the inside <laughs> of the Trades building. That's where you can find him. Drop by and say hello. Yeah. I, I try to support him every way I can. And of course, that is this coming Sunday if you were in Chicago. I think the parking's free. It used to be free when we yeah. were there. So, yeah, I believe I mean, it's still free. And you get good deals in the parking lot because people yeah, you sell can. out of the trunk of their car. <clears throat> Sometimes, yeah, a lot of times they do that. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and get started. And we got some oddballs here. And this is from a company called 303 Toys. Mm. One sixth scale 303 Toys. And that is Lady White Bone. And I like how the head change, look at the bust for the head change out. Yeah. That's an interesting looking, I like the coloring um, where on the head piece it looks like metal. Yeah, and um, the feathers, there is die cast in this. Okay. That yeah. looks that looks good, it looks interesting. Lady White Bone is 300. Whoa. 300. Oh, scale? Yeah. Okay. And that's getting to be the going rate. Yeah. And there is, there is a deluxe version. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Lady White Bone. I got it backwards. Lady White Bone is two thirty-five. Okay. The regular one is two thirty-five, and the deluxe one with the uh, the head change out. Because I get best guess people were wondering what I was talking about there for a mm -hmm. second. You you get the head change out, the extra hands, and the the um, spirit little skulls there, the green ones mm -hmm. is three hundred. Okay. All right, so that makes a little more sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's different though. I just wanted to show it because of that. You see it's mixed media. She has real hair. Yeah. Beast Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Marvel Iron Man Medieval Edition. That'll go with the um, samurai uh, mm -hmm. Marvel I, stuff. I guess they ran out of ideas for samurai and now we're doing medieval things. But that's the medieval edition. You see Tony Stark in the mask there. This is they're in their eight inch range. This is a hundred and forty five dollars. Mm. And there is a deluxe version that comes with other accessories, including a jet pack and you know a, a head change out and some other bits and pieces that you can see. This is one seventy for the deluxe version. No die cast in this. It's not die cast because I know you were gonna ask. No, I'm not going to ask. From Koo Model, it's Friedrich the First. Friedrich or Frederick, it depends on what part of the world you're from. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Fred. <laughs> Mi I think the mixed media only applies to the beard. That's a sculpted cape. Um, a, what do you mean sculpted You cape? said the mixed media only applies to the beard. Oh, no, no, because his hair is still plastic. Oh. But then you see he's got like a, a an actual beard. Okay, because I was about to say that. If that's sculpted, then that's a great job. Friedrich is $280, and there's a deluxe version to this. Oh. Where, because this is die cast. These are die cast parts, mm. but they have a sculpted copper version. Mm. For four hundred, hmm. I don't know four hundred dollars though. Yeah, but it's different. <laughs> yeah, it is. You, this is this is not the kind of six scale stuff you normally see, which is part of the reason why I wanted to show it. Mm -hmm. And you can get his horse. That's cool. His horse is not articulated; it's just a figurine. It's a hundred and sixty. 
And of course, if all you have that a, stuff comes off. Yes. Yeah, it's, you it's can mixed, put it with something else. It's mixed media. Yeah, you could. You could take the fabric off and just put the saddle if you have another figure you wanted to use that with, maybe. Mm-hmm. And Koo Model also has the Teutonic Sergeant. The Teutonic Knights. Teutonic Knights, Teutonic Sergeant. He also has die-cast metal pieces. He is also $280 and also has a deluxe version with, uh, with the helmet. copper sculpted fittings. He's for 10 Man, this price is getting up there, though. 410 Yeah, but I mean, when you do good jobs and you, you put in the extra work, yeah. uh, mixed media, die cast where it needs to be, you know, yeah. a, a collector, a real, you know, not, not saying a real collector, but a collector would buy it. One thing I did, I do notice here, because I know I used to actually build armor like a million years ago as a hobby. Um, the coif, that is that um, that metal link hood that you see in the middle on the top there. Look at the close up on the right. It's actual links. Mm. That's actual links. Somebody put that together. Yeah, that's. I think that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah. And of course, you have his horse, 165. Because <laughs> why not? Funko? Anybody mm. want to see some Funko? Funko has more of these, like Luchador or Day of the Dead, I guess, Batmans, including an Amazon exclusive Joker. I imagine it glows in the dark there. Harley Quinn, a Green Lantern Corp figure, Bane. And there's more, The Flash, Regular Joker, uh, Entertainment Earth Bane, Hot Topic Batman. Because, you know, they can keep remaking these, Black Light, Glow in the Dark, mm -hmm. just same paint and everything, just or different paint, but same pattern. Shredder. With, That's a Glow in the Dark Shredder. With Weapon. It says it glows in the dark. Funko Shop exclusive. Drum. Only that ooze glows in the dark, and you can only see a script of green. Oh, yeah? Did you see it glowing? No. I don't know what glows. What else would glow? I don't know. His eyes? Psst. I don't know. Don't glow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of lame uh -huh. if it's only that that ooze, and you just see a script of green. Yeah. That's kind of like a waste of time. You know, a Funko painting okie doke that they pull. Oh, they're coming back with the Simpsons. More Simpsons. These are Greek themed. I don't know what show that's from. But uh, you see there's an Amazon exclusive. I suppose that's Homer as Hercules. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm really guessing here because I don't know anything about what this is referring to. Sodas. More of the office. More of the office. Spikey from Killer Clowns from Out of Space, which is a real weird movie from yeah. the 80s. Actually, it's kind of neat. The chase doesn't look bad in the black yeah, and white colors. Looks really yeah, good. that does look decent. Both of them actually yeah. look good. Popeye. That Popeye looks good. Yeah, he's got a twisty punch for the chase. <laughs> At least they completely re-sculpted him. Re yeah, did a whole new mold. Except well, at least an arm mold yeah. and a clothes change out. Yeah. His hat's different. Yeah. They made an effort. Yeah. Number five. I don't know what that is. Umbrella oh, Umbrella Academy. Academy. It says, but I haven't seen that, so I don't know. Then you get back the laziness, just throw some red paint on them. They, call it they got bloody. away with that for a long time, a yeah, couple of years, uh, go, some uh, years ago. For a long time, a couple of years back. They bloody. Just splatter splash, yeah. uh, blood on it. And blood it's like, splatter. oh, variant. Katsuko Bakugo from uh, My Hero Academia. Glow in the dark paint. Another lazy chase. Mr. Owl, <laughs> regular and flocked. He should be flocked anyway. They didn't do a pop of that. Did they? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Know. I don't remember. I can't I do say. I not remember. Yeah. There was a turtle, too. Remember the turtle? Who remembers the turtle? Not really. 
Donald Duck, three Caballeros, and there's so you got two, two chases. chases. Yes, there's two chases. Oh, you know that's going to be like super expensive. Yeah, talk about uh, being a headache. And it's 15,000 of them. Yeah. A lot of Donald Ducks. So they got to divide those chases into it. Twinkie the Kid. That chase looks like crap. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, I just... <laughs> that's so lazy. <laughs> I know I pick on Funko so much. I just want them to do better, guys. You don't care do if better. Funko did better. You're not going to buy it. I want them to do it. better. Mm -hmm. I like that Twinkie the Kid, though, because I just... I like advertising icons. Yeah. You got the Twinkie, don't you? I got the Pop Twinkie, yeah. I got a few and then I quit with mm -hmm. the ad icons. Squid Game from Netflix. Already they're cranking these out. Uh, Walmart exclusive, Funko Shop exclusive. We don't have Netflix, so we haven't seen it, so don't ask. Didn't we see that today in Walmart? No. You said something about it earlier today, but I don't know. Anyway. And the regular figures. I'm surprised they didn't make Invincible Pops. They'll get around to it. Mm. Dungeons and Dragons, and that's uh, Vensa, right? With, uh, with a dice, because you know they always include a dice with these, which is cool. And that's going to GameStop. Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary. Oh, has it been that long? Yeah. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and a Funko Shop exclusive. And some more exclusives in supersized editions. Hot Topic, GameStop, and Target. Supersized for the monsters. And that'll do it for Funko. Yeah, that was more than enough. It's more than enough, I know. Hasbro, more Black Series, more Retro Series, Mandalorian, Retro Style carded. Because you see they even try to make the card look beat up like it's an old Kenner card. Mm -hmm. And put Kenner on it. Mandalorian. And Imperial Death Trooper. Retro Collection. Mm-hmm. Armor, Ashoka, and Bo Katan, and Boba Fett. And that'll be enough of that. Yay. Is anybody buying those? Is there big interest in that still anymore? I know the, I, I don't know if there's still big interest in the Black Series or not. I'm just curious because I don't collect those. Hot Toys. Loki. That's really not a bad sculpt. That's a pretty good likeness. Yeah, it is. Still haven't seen that show either. But, you know, we don't have, uh, we don't have Disney Plus either. I like how it says variant on his jacket, though. Because, <laughs> you know, there's multiples. Mm -hmm. But Loki here is 275. 275 for the Loki. And there are others. Uh oh. Others. Sylvie, which is obviously also from the Loki show, is 270. 270 for Sylvie. And again, don't really know anything about these characters. And Yelena, but Yelena is from Black Widow. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she's 285. 285. It's kind of late in the game to be still putting out uh, Black Widow 6 scale, isn't it? I don't know. You're still putting out that Iron Man. Yeah, and Iron Captain that's, America. Yeah, people like Captain Star America Wars. and Iron Man and Star Wars, though. People didn't care for Black Widow too much. Mm. McFarlane toys. McFarlane, can you make anything but Batman? The answer is no, we can't. More <laughs> multiverse, and this is Dark Knight Return stuff. And pay close attention to the build a figure that comes with this. Four figures in the series. There's your Batman. Very thick Batman. Superman. Robin. 
kind of. And the Joker. And yes, you build the horse. The horse is the Build-A-Figure. More from McFarlane. Hmm. Gunflinger. Spawn. Yeah, Gunslinger Spawn series. They haven't done that in a while, have they? Spawn? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does do stuff other than Batman. He occasionally does Spawn still. Hmm. Soul Crusher. And Dark Redeemer. And Batman, oh, Batman. the movie version. Which the movie? Batman, the newest one that hasn't come out yet. Oh, okay. So there's your Batman. When is that coming out? I don't know. <laughs> I oh. can't remember. Mm -hmm. The Riddler, apparently. Which I guess... Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem the same if he doesn't have little question marks all over his clothes. Hmm. And Catwoman. Do they have to shoehorn Catwoman in anything? Has have they ever really pulled Catwoman off properly since like the Batman sixty six? I only seen the, the Michelle <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer was okay. And what the one with Christian Bale uh -huh. and you know. that character was annoying. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer was more interesting, but even that was kind of far-fetched. Yeah. And a bat cycle. 33 bucks for the bat cycle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think the Batman figures are like 20 mm -hmm. And then the Spawn and the other Batman figures are like in the 25 range. Mego. Any Mego fans? Here's a sneak peek at the Hammer Films Frankenstein. It's not released yet. So, sneak peek at the Hammer Films Frankenstein. 14 points of articulation. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. The Hunchback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are Tops ones here. Tops. Death, or the Reaper, rather. Phantom of the Opera. Hammer, again. And they're kind of on to something with the Hammer stuff. Mm -hmm. The Hammer Films figures, people are liking those. Okay. And, of course, Plague of the Zombies. So, yes, Miko finally made a zombie figure. And they also have this series out. And you see it's autographed, and that's the autograph of Marty Abrams there. One of 250. These are for sale on Walmart. What size? Is that say 12 inch? That is a 14 inch figure. Mm. He's 14 inches tall. It's $69 oh. at a Walmart, but you have to go on their website if they haven't sold out. Mm. They got three that he signed 250 of. There's the Spock. And people are like, what? 69 and shipping for these, but you know, it, he did sign them and they are limited edition. So consider that. And then the Gorn, which is probably going to be the most popular of the three. And back to Mezco, I showed a sneak peek of this uh, about a week ago, I think, a week or two. The Five Points Monsters Deluxe Playset. And so this is, it says, multi-level, 18-inch tall, dilapidated display diorama with multiple horrific display options. You get five figures and you get the little playset there. And this is $95.00. And these are the accessories that come with it. I'm not sure what these pieces are made out of. To me, they look like cardboard cutouts. <laughs> they do. Does it say in that little fine print? I'm looking. I, it doesn't say. Mm. It doesn't say, but it looks like cardboard to me. Yeah. yeah. How much is it? 95. Oh, yeah, it is probably cut. Plus, yeah. plus postage. Cardboard. There's your uh, five five figures and their five points of articulation each and then that's the inside of the playset and I will I'll throw you a bone here and of course if anything I, t I like to throw out prices when I know them and sometimes things are cheaper in different places go ahead and mention it in the comments section mm -hmm. 
on this particular one because you know I just tell suggested retail price. Mm -hmm. You this is cheaper at Big Bad Toy Store, not just because of the shipping because mm -hmm. they're flat rate four dollars shipping. It's eighty five dollars at uh, Big Bad Toy Store. It's ten dollars less than Mezco and like probably I think fifteen or sixteen less on the shipping on top of that. Mm. So you'd be a lot better off. And that's almost like Mezco shooting themselves in the foot instead of handling it themselves. But it, yeah, it's cheaper there. And again, if you see, if I mention a price and you know somewhere where it's a little cheaper, just point it out in the comment section, help people out a little bit. Mondo dropped this classic scare glow. It was 220, limited to a thousand pieces. No, I did not get one. <laughs> I have the regular Scare Glow. I did manage to get a Scare Glow from them last year. Mm -hmm. This one I did, couldn't get. It was, you know, by the time it dropped and I was signed in and going to to my cart, it was already sold out that fast. So it, it didn't last, and that's unfortunate. I would have liked to have added that because I do have Mondo Six Scales Masters figures. I like them, but I missed out on that one. Mm. NECA has a bunch of stuff. This is a Gremlins accessory set. I don't know the prices on most of this. Accessory set, that's not really a figure in there. It's just an outfit on like a like a flat figurine, like a, almost a mannequin. Oh, okay. The two Gremlins are real, but I don't think they're jointed. They might be. I think they're jointed at the shoulders. But that's an accessory set for your pre-existing Gremlins. They've got an Ash, and this is an Ash first film version it looks like ash of the evil dead you see the 31 nights of fright hmm. bronx from their gargoyles that's a sneak peek at their next gargoyle figure that they're going to be doing the demolition gremlins two pack finally boxed and ready to go some of this they've shown before but just not they're not ready or weren't ready. Gremlins Edition toy capsule collectibles. No, I don't know what's inside of them, but it's a bag of capsules. They Mis look like candy. Mystery minis of some kind. And they also did it with monsters. Second edition, it says, toy capsule collectibles. And they're Myers 2-pack with Dr. Loomis. A Universal Monster Ninja Turtle as Frankenstein. Everybody always starts with Frankenstein. You notice that? Yeah. I guess because he's the most popular. I suppose. They're going to do everything with them turtles. This they is like, already did a, a Universal Monster Turtles back, back in like the, the 90s. 90s. Correct. I had a full set of those mm. once upon a time. 40 for this. And a Wolfman reveal. Those people were worried they weren't going to continue with it. Yes, they are. There's your Wolfman. I wonder if Mondo was going to continue with it. The universe. Might, you remember the came yeah, out with the creature? The creature. Mm -hmm. But Mondo was pretty slow. Yeah. So we'll see. PCS collectibles. Rock steady statue. To go with the turtles. Yeah, this is 16 inches tall. It's 630. Oh. And there's two versions. Mm. Because you get another version that comes with the little robot. And this is 655. So 25 extra bucks for the robot thing. It's an interesting looking sculpt anyway. Mm -hmm. And from Plastic Meatball... Plastic Meatball like has their Ad Icons, Five Points of Articulation, Action Figures. These are 1 18th scale, though. They're like G.I. Joe size, okay. 3 and 3 quarter inch. Mm -hmm. I like how the card is done to look like a classic, like the classic cereal box, mm -hmm. even though it's kind of like the 90s version cereal box. Mm -hmm. And it says fun activity on back, but I don't know what the back looks like. No. Oh. However, the price point is around 15 bucks. So obviously that was Tony. There's Toucan Sam. Uh, <laughs> they could have articulated his jaw. Mm. 
They know people ain't going to take that thing out of the garbage. And dig them. Yeah, most people are not. That's true. Yeah, so why bother? Sentinel. Iron Spider, 112th scale. $100 for the Iron Spider. And yes, this one does have die cast parts. Mm. So there. He does have die cast. And also from Sentinel, the Steel Jig. Steel Jig. This is really also around 112th scale by comparison, even though it's supposed to be a giant robo. It's actually just over seven and a half inches tall. It is die cast. It does transform into the vehicle. This sucker is three hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, you're gonna pay for Jig, mm -hmm. and he comes with the with the guns and the drill hands and all that bit. Well, I like it, but wow, that price point! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and from Square Enix, it's Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII, and this is nine and eight. 9.84 inches tall, almost 10 inches. I don't know what scale that falls into. This is 155. I guess you're going to pay for that Final Fantasy franchise. I guess so. Weta Workshop, the Argonath, which is, of course, from Lord of the Rings. I like how the little boats are in there for a size comparison. Mm -hmm. This is $800, and it is just over 15 inches tall and it's polystone. 800 bucks. Yeah. Well, if you're a big Lord of the Rings fan, that's uh it's significant. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's the parting looking straight on. You see the three little ships there. It's a lot of carving. And that's also the end of the line. End of the line. Anything there catch your eye this week? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Not even I thought the... you had. I thought there were more of those serial icons. I only you saw the three. Those? No, okay. I didn't see more than three. I like those. I don't. Yeah. I doubt it if I'll get any of them, but I like them. I think they fit in, you know, with just nostalgia and oh, um, yeah. the ad icons. Because I know a lot of people. Um, that we talked to on the live screen, um, they like ad icons. And mm -hmm. I thought I saw maybe on another website, they had it like more of the characters, but even older. Like I know they had a, a older version of the Tony the Tiger okay. and the Fruit Loops, and then they had um, the the bear. What, uh, Sugar bear. Sugar bear. That's not Kellogg's though. They had they had it though. Because okay. I've seen the, it. It was about uh, about six or seven of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, if and they, they're they're cool. If they pop up, I'll put them out here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's different. It's interesting. You know, yeah. The price point's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Even though they they are small, but again, I like how the uh, the the card looks like original box art. And yeah, yeah for for nostalgic purposes, something that again kids today just don't understand. Yeah. Add icons. Mm -hmm. it's a they big, were a big part of uh, the culture. It was. You know, Saturday mornings and cartoons and breakfast cereals and mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff tied together. And it's a lost art. Yeah. But yeah, I do like those also. Um, was there anything else? I don't know. The Mondo Scare Glow, but mm -hmm. that's... that's uh, you getting that. No, that's not going to happen. Anyway, you know, I'll throw it out there. Guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Check out some of our other videos. We do a lot more than just do a walkthrough of some of what became available in the current <laughs> week. Uh, remember, I will be doing the unboxing of the Conan. So hopefully that's a winner. And we we doing a live stream on Halloween? I'm not sure. We're not sure? All right, we're thinking about it. And do look out for Nerdtastic Plastic at the Chicago Toy Con. 
And if that's it, what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.